um, on today's video, I'm going to show you how to create or uh, how um, a an image generator uh, an image generator app works on Bing AI. So with Bing AI, you can actually um, do a test to image. So you type in the words and then um, the AI generates the image for you. So it's left to you to confirm if what was generated for you is accurate or not. So let's get into that. So open your Bing AI if you already have it downloaded. Now, there is actually two ways to do this. Um, the first is actually typing the word on the ask area. Um, asking it is actually going to, um, is not going to generate the image for you. It's actually going to automatically give you, um, give you a image on Google. And most times it creates it for you. So let's go ahead and ask the AI. And you can notice it says, um, hi, I am Bing, uh, your AI powered autopilot for the web. Now let's chat. So I'm going to say, um, right? So I just typed in image of a fox. Now this is an image of a fox. This is not generated. This is searched from the Bing and you can see it right here. Now this is from Pixby and you can easily um, click and see the one that you like. But that is not exactly what we are looking for today. And if you click on images, you are going to see even more images. But then that is actually not what we are looking for. And you can also chat with the AI right here. But then you can also use this area to navigate. So if you navigate to um, the chat area, you can ask it to create this image for you. But then I think the previous search I had is still displaying. And this is the result of the image from the chat. So I'm going to ask it to create create image of a fox then send it and also i think this is also created by bing you can see it it says bing creator right here sorry i am not very good at straight line right here so this is actually created by Bing image. So if you are using this, I think you are very good and you are safe to go. So you can notice it actually powered by um, Dell E. So when you um, is still generating the image, let's allow you to create the image and it's good to go. All right. So I have been waiting and it's still not creating it. So let me just go ahead and restart. But then I'm also going to copy this. Now I'm going to click on this to restart and I am going to paste the same word and hit send. Let's wait for it to generate. All right, so this is successful and it has created um, the image of a fox. And I think this is very similar because um, I have seen most of this image somewhere on the internet and actually on Google. This particular image because i like fox a lot i recognize this and this is looking like a replica of the rest this particular image is an image of a fox i've seen before and then is replicating this and i think this particular image actually belonged to um it belongs to firefox yes firefox so um this is also not bad so you can see how it generated it for you now this is actually a first method of generating our image now the second method of generating your image go back go to the application section and then you are going to notice where it says image creator select that when you choose that it's going to bring you to this bing image selector also the same by um del e so paste the same word or the same keyword uh, that was an error. Paste the same keyword, tap and hold, paste, and then you click on create, then you allow it to create. Then if you scroll down, you are going to see the previous image that has been created by the, um, by the same um, image generator. You can always click and open them, but let me allow this to complete and then I will show you the previous image I have created. So very similar to the previous one, no much different. The reason why there is no much different in this is because um, is because of the word that um, I'm using the same word. So it's giving me the same Fox word, um, the same Fox design, very sharp. I kind of like this design. It looks um, it looks better than the previous ones. So 
and also if i decide to add yeah, more creative i think creating image with ai you need to be creative while doing it because just asking it anything is just going to randomly create something for you and this is actually creating a fox image in a forest right um now i say create um image of a fox in a home in a home um when you say in a home i don't mean uh the cave i actually mean the um a pet kind of fox so i hope it gives me the result i am not giving it precise um words to actually create for me but i'm just allowing it to guess so that i'm going to get something at random and this is not too bad but then it looks uh this is cartoony so i don't know why it's it choose to have a cartoon kind of um home image but then this is not bad okay um this image looks more like uh, a fox that lives in a home that owns the home i don't think because of this image repeatedly added here so it looks like is the owner of the home but then let me go ahead and prompt or write another image again guys um a pet I'm going to add a fox pet in a home. I hope it's actually going to get this word. All right, guys, this is perfect. And it was only able to generate two images for me, but I think they are actually perfect. But I think these images are very similar if you pay close attention. The images that have been generating so far looks like this same fox um, pattern has been generated multiple times it looks adult it looks is a red fox and it didn't give me like the black fox this is like the most common fox and i think it's it's not too bad i'm actually okay with that but it looks like it's the same fox that is being generated multiple times when they are younger and this but then it is exactly how it works so if you have any question guys please leave it on the comment section working with um bing image generator is actually very easy and very streamlined it just depends on whatever you want and whichever idea you have but then if you do not have any idea in mind you can go ahead and explore ideas so when you explore ideas you can see more things now let me scroll down and go to the last image which is this and then this is actually a uh, creation right now if you click on explore ideas you are going to see other ideas that are already been created um, you can notice it says multiple spark glitching from uh, tip of a pencil and then all of these are different image different image and you can generate with your ai so guys i hope this is helpful um please let me know if it's helpful and also if you are making use of any of these this is just um, a creative idea or exploring the idea that is already existing so if you use any of this image you can always um you can always uh customize it to give you the exact look that you want okay let's say um street of south um southern france um summertime bright and beautiful cinematic landscape now if i click on this particular image and then this is exactly what he gave me right now i can i can copy the link test right and then close that out and then um paste this uh this is the first time i'm trying this oh jeez it didn't give me the exact image i was expecting to get the caption and instead it's giving me the link i actually wanted to paste the caption and then edit the caption and then change everything to lagos 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 so um i don't know if i can still see okay i think this is this is the image i clicked on then You know what? Let me not take your time. But actually what I mean, guys, this particular keyword that is displaying right here, you can copy this keyword and replicate it and um, edit it into giving you like the image that you want exactly. But it might not give you perfectly or the accurate image you want, but it's going to give you very close to what you want. Now, this is actually what I mean. On this image, it says Street of Southern France so this area where it has southern france i am going to change it to um, street of lagos 
summertime bright and beautiful landscape that is exactly what i want to type but for some reason i cannot copy this test um so that we did um, so if i want to do it i actually i have to actually um type this on a different phone or memorize it and then type it but i do not want to waste much time on this video and i hope this video is helpful just know that any prompt you type in is going to give you a result and most of the time you might not get um the accurate results you might get a declining result but whatever the issue is um this is almost perfect and among the best um, AI image generator, this is among my best. So I am going to be making other videos about other AI image generators and I hope you stay safe and I will see you on my next video. Peace.